But I think the reggae boys are stretching it a little bit. All right. No, it's a negotiation. And I think they're going to come down because the JFF can't pay $7,000 per match. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. Greetings, Sports DTM fans, and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Your favorite analysts are here to provide their latest feedback on the happening in the world of sport. Now, breaking news, Jamaica Football Federation and the Reggae Boys on Collision Course has salary negotiations It impasse. But before we go into the details, we see that you have been watching and liking our videos. We want you to be part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscribe button. If your subscribe button is still red, it simply means that you have not yet subscribed. So hit that subscription button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. The annual showdown between the Jamaica Football Federation and the players over match fees and bonuses could become very interesting. The Federation for the first time may now have to seriously consider using alternative players for the busy year ahead. This is the state of play as it now stands. The players are demanding US $7,000 for each of the 14 World Cup qualifying games plus a bonus of $1,000 for every win. However, the JFF is preparing to make a final offer of $2,000 for each of the World Cup qualifying games plus bonuses. We don't know what the bonus is yet, but it is currently at a take it or leave it approach. For an international friendly, especially against the US, the players are asking $5,000, also with a $1,000 bonus. While the Nations League games, they want $3,000. JFF is saying that they are not in a position to pay this. Analyst, breaking news, JFF at it again on their finances. What are your take on this? Ray, let me hear your thoughts quickly now. Well, let the negotiations begin now, because you can see the gap between what, what is being asked for and what they can afford. Let the negotiations begin. And remember, 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 this year they want to be more transparent. Their New Year's resolution was being transparent. So open the books. Open the books and let us see what you really can afford. You understand? So after seeing that now, then... Who can know what is due to the players? So yeah, it's it's very interesting. I'm I'm I'm, I'm really excited about what, what is to come. Ricky, you didn't expect to hear anything different from JFF negotiation. No, you know, Kurt, we never expect to hear anything different from from JFF and the negotiations. But my my problem is that them come down from seven thousand dollars to two thousand. Them come down too far. Better them did meet the man them halfway and say, Here what? We're gonna go to three five and about seven bills if we no win a match or an extra five bills if we no win the match. Uh, so in all you know, I get four thousand per match. I hold it for money that if you're in a Jamaica you hold it for money per match, fourteen matches. Hold it for money that you carry home. Right? What I think the players are doing they set it high so that JFF can at least meet them halfway and then at the end of the day they can be comfortable with what they get so so I'm not surprised at this level of negotiation and I, and I, and I can bet that it's Damien Lowe planned this thing and, it, and um, he's saying that either way any way it go is a win-win situation so yeah man I'm not surprised at how it's going, but I understand where it's going, and I think it's going to be a win for the boys. Tiga, talk to us about the value of a two thousand US dollar. Considering that is the currency that you were earning, tell me how, how, how two thousand dollar fitting at the national setup right now. Okay, so when you're looking at it, the reggae boys want seven thousand dollars. For a World Cup qualifying match for 14 games, 14 World Cup qualifying games, they want $7,000. And 
and if they win they want an extra thousand dollars now the rate one us to a jamaican dollars is 150 dollars and we're going to do the calculation so for one match they want seven thousand dollars so that's going to be approximately one million and fifty thousand jamaican dollars and they want an extra thousand dollars that is going to be approximately a hundred and fifty thousand dollars but what jff is proposing that they're going to give them two thousand dollars well at that rate they're going to get approximately three hundred thousand dollars no that is not it so no man this can't work i think the reggae boys are stretching it a little bit you understand they are stretching it a little bit they need to come halfway they need to come halfway three thousand five hundred dollars per match you understand three thousand five hundred dollars per match i think that will do it and that is straight down the middle okay hey john jff is currently in a bind you know they said that based on their proposal it will cost them 550 million dollars to qualify for the world cup or to play the 14 matches for qualification for the world cup if they are to grant the players their their requests it will cost them 800 million i think jff really realistically in a position to to pay all of this uh Yes, Kurt, um, so we'd all be inclined to be sorry for the JFF based on the numbers that are calling. But of course, there is no transparency behind the JFF financials. We have been calling for the financials to be made public for a little while now without any such luck. The truth is that um, we know that um, the amounts have been quoted amount of 500 million and 800 million respectively. What we don't know is how much is the JFF expected to earn um, from the friendly arrangement as well as the other matches with the World Cup qualification. Adrian, talk to us about how important it is to make those financials public because JFF might be embarrassed by their financials but it is important that these information are known to the public and to interest groups. So talk to us about the importance of these now. Um, Kurt, so um, making the financial numbers public is critical um, as it allows for a level of transparency and accountability. Um, you're getting government funds, you have sponsors on board, um, you have the public who is there, and you may have potential um, sponsors as well. Um, the financials display what your operations are, your numbers actually tell a story, and it's important that this, these things are disclosed so that um, the necessary scrutiny can be had on it and where there is improvement you know that can be had so right now we're saying they don't have any money they can't do better but you don't know how they are handling their affairs to be able to draw that conclusion you want to be sympathetic to their plea you want to know if they are being unreasonable to the players or the players are being unreasonable to the JPF. it's hard for you to draw that conclusion unless you have some hard numbers to look at you know so um, yeah, it's very important. Eddie, the player has been very proactive here and apparently they don't want what happened in the previous negotiation to happen again. So they have gone ahead and acquired the services of an attorney who will negotiate with the JFF on their behalf. A boss move, this not true? Yeah, Kurt. Big boss move, definitely. They can't rely on Damon Lowe every time to do the negotiations. They need professionals. And it's good that they lie up, get them lying and everything, so they're on the right path. So if anything go wrong, they're covered. So it makes sense. And um, I wish I didn't have to do this, but the way JFF move, you have to protect yourself. So good move by the players. Really, JFF is going public with the negotiation this time, rather quietly though. But do you think this is a good move by JFF to come public? Because in most cases during a negotiation, the person who is demanding normally don't get the support of the public. So then pretty much I put it in front of the public to say this is where we are and this is what the players are demanding. You think it's a good move? Absolutely it's a good move. We all ask for transparency at some point and now JFF is going down that road finally. Um, staying true to the, to the New Year's resolution that was made of, of being more transparent. So. You know, bringing that in, shedding some light on it public, 
I guess they would they would eventually get down to a, um, a, a price that makes sense for both of them that they can afford and that is reasonable for the players because you know public will will demand and 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 push and pull and stuff like that but one thing for sure though nothing would be hidden and that I almost think that's a good a good enough strategy as Tigat had said seven thousand dollars is a real is a big stretch um we're, we're not aware of how much other um football associations are are paying their international players but one thing for sure seven thousand dollars is a big stretch so the public hearing that some might ask for more and some might say no seven thousand is a stretch and so somewhere in the around the middle i would not say three five but four five to five grand the public might ask for that or might say that and jff no would have to it would have to pony up more money but one thing for sure though transparency and that is the key to any of this um negotiation there you have it sports dtm fans a quick look at the jamaica football federation negotiation process so far between them and the reggae boys there is currently a wide gap between what is being presented and what is being demanded by the players jff is saying i can only afford two thousand dollars plus a 15 percent bonus while the boys are demanding a seven thousand dollars per game plus a one thousand bonus for every win let us know your comments in the section below do you think jff need to go find the money to pay the players or do you think the players are being told demanding and that them know jff don't have the money so they need to just build and play a ball leave your comments in the comment section below like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come and join the sports dtm family be blessed